Uh, in my last video, multi-threading visibility, I demonstrated the danger of sharing variables among multi-threads without correct synchronization. The consequence is your program will behave unpredictably. It depends on your particular machine and uh, the situation you run the program. You get different uh, results. Uh, for this uh, particular example, uh, what happens is we set the ready to chew in the main thread and uh, without synchronize. And in the uh, reader thread, we try to uh, check the values and uh, exit. So uh, what do we expect to see as a main thread after the main thread print out this line? Uh, it should uh, set already set ready to true, and the reader thread should uh, exit and print out this value. But um, yeah, what happens is uh, this program, uh, after print out this, it never uh, finish. So the reader thread never finish. And we can do this many times. Uh, every time we, most of the time, uh, we see this result. So what happens is um, uh, your operation system, compiler, and JVM trying to optimize your code. Uh, they see this while loop is executed too many times. So instead of read from the main memory, the ready is cached to the CPU core's register. And uh, your reader thread and your main thread is running in different core. They use different uh, register. So the main uh, ready value uh, is different than the uh, ready value your reader thread to see. It see from a different register. And uh, so it's ready is still false and it's keep uh, wiring, uh, do this wire loop forever. Uh, in my last video, I also showed by just uh, uh, print out the value in the reader thread. And this bug is gone. We call it a hasten bug because it's kind of it's unobservable. You're trying to observe it; it's it, it's not there anymore. And uh, the the reason is um, by print out we intentionally uh, established the happens before relationship between this uh, uh, this print out and this print out. Uh, so. Uh, when you print out this line, all the states visible to the main thread became visible to the reader thread. And uh, you just uh, fixed the bug by synchronizing, uh, synchronizing them um, intentionally uh, with these two print lines. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate uh, this hasten bug is actually more hideous. You don't even need this uh, uh, system out in order to alter the uh, alter the results. And what I'm saying is, even though you use a debugger trying to step through the, um, those two threads, you will see different results just by observing them with debugger. Uh, it's uh, they are gone. Okay, let's let's uh, let's try to uh, let's try to use a debugger and uh, and f figure out what we we'll ha what uh, what is going on. Okay, let's set a debug as this line and uh, start it. Debug as Java application. Okay, and now. <coughs> And we are in the main thread. There's only one thread. We haven't started the reader thread yet. So let's step over. Okay, now after step over, we get a new thread. And uh, we haven't set any breakpoints. So there's no stack yet. And now let's set a breakpoint. And now there is a stack. And uh, let's let's go into the uh, check the um, yeah, wearable in, uh, in this reader thread. Let's put our mouse here. Uh, Ready is still force. And how about uh, the number is C? Is C uh, number zero? Okay, let's go back to the main thread. Let's check its uh, variable available to the main thread. Number is still zero, ready is false. 
Okay, let's pretend that we are the JVM uh, thread scheduler. Let's assign all the CPU cycle to the reader thread. And, um, and uh, let it run. And it will never exist because uh, the ready didn't get update. Okay, we can run this as long as we like. And it will never pass. Now let's go back to the main thread. And uh, let's give the CPU back to the main thread. Uh, Let's uh, uh, step over. Okay, step over, step over again. Now the main thread is updated. Uh, the ready is two. Okay, number is forty-two. Let's see what's the value the reader thread is. See, let's go to the reader thread. Let's check ready. Oh, you see, the ready is two, but uh, it's uh, when we run it, the ready. Uh, is always false, and uh, that means we didn't observe this hasten bug. And uh, let's get let's check the let's check the numbers value. Okay, number 42. Okay, the the reader thread didn't see uh, a different value, so we didn't observe the hasten bug by using the debugger. And uh, let's uh, try to repeat the. the but uh, let's let's try to finish the main thread as we uh, observed uh, when we use the wrong command. And uh, let's step over. Okay, uh, that uh, you see the main thread print out this as we saw before, and uh, let it uh, round to exit. Okay, let's round to exit. Now the main thread exits. Uh, the only thread left is a uh, uh, <coughs> reader thread. Okay, since the ready is true, so we didn't observe the hasten bug. Okay, now it's print out. You see, even with debugger, we couldn't see uh, the hasten bug. So what happened is let's let's run it to make it uh, run to finish. Okay, um, so what could have happened is it depends on your machine, uh, like I said, uh, when you uh, when you run the program, you see, when you try and do, let's go back to the project, uh, let's go to the Java view, okay. So when you're trying to uh, run the program, it's uh, different. <coughs> uh, so what happens is your system see you run this while loop uh, a lot, so it's trying to optimize. But when you're in the debugger mode, you manually step through this. Uh, you didn't run this loop a lot, so the, the probably the optimization mechanism didn't tick in, so your ready didn't get cached, and uh, uh, you didn't see that uh, hasten bug. Uh, that could be the reason, but uh, I'm not totally sure. Uh, because in order to make sure, you need to examine the, 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 the machine detail. You need to go to check the register, check the memory, do very uh, like nerdy things. Uh, but that's not the point of, of uh, writing program. The point is uh, you have to use synchronize correctly. If you not use the synchronize mechanism correctly, trying to reason out is is hard and a waste of time. So use the synchronize mechanism mechanism correctly. Period. Uh, 